All right, so my latest Oris watch. This is actually only my second Oris watch that I've ever owned, but I really did like this one. I'm a bit sort of late to the party because this has been out for some time. So it comes with this uh, travel pouch. I like this little card thing. I could use that for just for my credit cards, but that'll be the warranty card, etc. I'm not going to bother. Uh, go your own way. Okay. I do like this little case, uh, much better than the, than a box. I like that as well. Mm. All very nice. Let's get all this to the side and here we have the watch. This is nice. I will be using this a lot, I think, not just for this. Here we have the watch. Actually, let me put that down. So it is the Big Pilot, no, what's it called? The, I think it's called the Big Crown date, pointer date or something, I don't know. And there we have it. No anti-reflecting uh, coating on there, unfortunately, which I really disapprove that when companies don't do that. But I was a bit torn uh, whether or not to get this one or the, this is the 40 mil, uh, or should I get the uh, 36 mil? So I'm not sure yet. I might change it, but um, uh, the 36 mil may be a better fit for my uh, wrist. I like smaller watches than the back of it. Can't really see much here, but I will wear it for some time a few weeks uh, and then come and do a full review uh, and show you exactly. It's the Big Crown, I'd say it's called the Big Crown. But the dial is a kind of a grey colour. So they do this in many colours. The, the, the most popular is like the light blue, uh, the black one, but I went for this grey. I'm not sure about the grey. Maybe I should have gone for the black, but the good thing is um, I can change it if I want to. So I'm going to wear this for a little while and then get back to you with a full review. Originally I was going to buy the watch on a strap, but the strap was just so cheap looking. Um, I decided to spend the extra £100 to buy it on the bracelet. Now I don't normally wear watches on bracelets, um, but uh, the, this bracelet is quite nice, but I haven't been wearing it. As you can see, I've still got all the plastic on there. Uh, the back of it is going to be a real scratch magnet. It's just going to get scratched up so easily. The clasp is quite nice. Uh, I do like uh, the way it opens and closes, but there is no safety um, clasp on there. So uh, I'm sure after a while it will become quite loose and easy to come off. Um, so yeah, that's a bit... Uh, yeah. Uh, the other bad thing about this clasp is it's got pins. Now, a watch of this calibre and also of Oris's calibre, uh, I think it's unforgivable that they are using pins and not screws. It's a matter of pennies uh, to put um, screw, have a bracelet with screws than it is with uh, pins. And they're just cheaping out. I think that's really bad uh, that they've done that. They could have put pins in there. Uh, and a few other things, like one of the other things that really irks me is if you look at the bracelet and the case, you see the case is brushed, but then it's polished here. It just doesn't match. I don't get why they've done that. It it doesn't match at all. It it looks to me like what they've done is they've taken a bracelet from another watch in the Oris range and thought, okay, let's just throw it onto here and uh, it'll be okay. Um, to me, it just doesn't suit. It doesn't suit it. Um, most companies, when they do this, they'll do brush, brush, and then the center ones they'll do polish. So if you see the two center ones, they're polished. So normally, what I think most companies would do is they'll put uh, brush, brush, and then these other ones which are brush would be polished, and the rest of them. Um, so it it doesn't make sense. It really doesn't suit the watch, uh, and it just looks odd in my opinion. Now I've been wearing it mainly on uh, straps, uh, leather straps, so I've been constantly changing uh, the straps. Um, one of the good things about this watch is it's got 20 millimeter lugs, so there is hundreds of uh, different strap combinations that I can use for this watch, which is great. So at the moment I've got it on this uh, racing rally strap, which has got holes all the way down to the bottom, which is unusual. Most of them just come up halfway. 
I think it suits the watch really well. It gives it that real 60s uh, look to it. Uh, so tell, let me tell you the specifications of the watch first. So I think I said in the, in the unboxing, this is the 40 millimeter one. Now, I also did say that I was considering buying the 36 millimeter one. I'm still sort of, this fits my wrist, but a smaller watch feels on my wrist more comfortable. Uh, it is 48 millimeters from lug to lug, and it's 12 millimeters thick. Uh, now most of that, uh, probably about a millimeter of that, is the actual uh, sapphire crystal, dome sapphire crystal. Now there are some things about this watch that I don't like. Um, there's probably about three, possibly four things that come off the top of my head at, uh, at the moment. Uh, and one of the things, as you just probably saw right there, is that it doesn't have any anti-reflective coating, so the camera's trying to struggle to focus. Now, if you look at that, that's just... Look at that, you see? That's just terrible. I hate the fact that companies don't put anti-reflective coating, especially of uh, companies such as Oris. This is not a micro brand where they're trying to save um, pennies or, or dollars. It only costs um, a few more dollars to put anti-reflective coating on a watch. Don't see why they don't do it. It's just being cheap, and I, I really dislike that. So that's one thing that I really dislike about this watch. The other thing is this bezel. I don't like this coin edge, coin edge bezel. Now, before the keyboard warriors start going off on one saying, well, why did I buy the watch? I've seen, I must have seen the watch. I've never seen this watch in an Oris dealer. For some reason, I don't know if this watch is not that popular. I've never seen one in any shop window of, of an Oris dealer. I've only seen it in pictures and other videos. And another thing I noticed that a lot of the video reviews were of people who had the watch on loan. They never actually bought the watch. They were always given the watch by Oris for, for reviews. So I don't know if this watch is that popular, but so that's why I couldn't tell what the actual bezel was like until I got the watch and when I did the unboxing that was the actual first time I'd actually held the watch in my hand and seen it in person. So when I talked to the guy on the phone uh, just before I ordered it, um, because I actually had to order it, the watch they didn't have obviously in stock because again I don't think it's that popular. So uh, he did say look because I was uh, I didn't I wasn't sure what the color dial I wanted or what uh, what size I wanted. So it comes in uh, the, the blue, which is I think the most popular that I've seen online that's been given to reviewers. Uh, so I didn't want that. I didn't want a watch dial that just about everyone else has got. The black seems to be again, I didn't want another black watch. I got plenty of black watches. So I went for this gray, dark gray color, and I'm really pleased with this dark gray color. If you look at the way the, the light's reflecting uh, off the dial, it kind of gives it a gradient look to it. And when some shadow hits it, it kind of goes black. And then when you're, you're outside, it kind of goes like a, a bluey uh, gray color to it. So I do like, I'm very happy with the, with the dial. The reason I don't like the bezel is the way they fixed on fixed it on, it just looks and feels cheap. It doesn't go all the way down to the bottom. You can see there, there's the gap. So it just looks like it's it's a half-assed bezel. Um, they're just sort of like, all right, let's put that on. Uh, if they'd made it all the way around to the end and possibly even curved it around, it would have just looked a lot better, I think. Now, I would have actually preferred the bezel to just to be a flat bezel, not this coin edge type. Um, it kind of gives it that bling thing. I don't like the whole bling thing. The traditional old uh, big crown was like this, so I can see why they've done it, but I just don't like, I just don't like that. The other thing that I don't like about it is the back. Now this runs the SW200-1, I believe. Movement-wise, it's a, it's a good, reliable movement. I've got no problem with the movement. Um, it's a $100 movement, so you've got a an $1,800 watch with a $100 movement half of the cost really. The fact that they've put a see-through back case to it. I hate see-through back cases with movements like this. Oh, they've changed the router, big deal. They've painted it red, they've put Oris on there, Swiss made. It doesn't warrant an open back case. Look at the movement. There's nothing there. It's There's nothing. What is there to see there? I, I hate it. If you've got a movement like this one, absolutely deserves an open back case. It just, that, that deserves it. This no. This, in my opinion, and I always say this in all my videos when I see an open back case with just a standard movement, it's lazy. They should have just put a solid back case to it, made a really nice engraving, 
I mean, it would have been so much better. They should have put some thought into it, put um, just a nice engraving. I don't get it. This is just lazy. Now, the crown on this, obviously, the big crown, that's one of the highlights of this watch. I really do like it. It's so easy to, to wind this watch. Now, that's another thing. I wish they'd made this a manual wind movement. It would have been so much better to make it manual wind. Because look, you see there, it's trying to focus again because of the no anti-reflective. So it's just so easy to wind. And if they'd made this a manual movement, to wind it every morning would have just added to the joy of owning this watch. Because normally you're just going to wind it and get it going and then you're going to leave it. And then that's it. So to, ha to have a watch like this and you have a big crown, it would have been so much nicer to wind it every morning to keep it going. I mean, you can do that if you want to anyway with an automatic movement, but it seems a bit pointless uh, to do that. The cathedral hands just suit this watch so much. Everything about the dial and the hands just fits so well. Uh, and also the fact that the date is all the way around the edges. So you've got symmetry all in the dial. You don't have the date window at three, six, or even stuck between the four and five, which just throws off the dial completely. The fact that the the date is all the way around the edge is just so much nicer way of doing it. It makes the dial look kind of uncluttered. This kind, It kind of fades. You don't really notice the date window around the edges so much. It's only this red marker there that really highlights what date it is. Uh, but other than that, you kind of just sort of, it fades into the background. Other than that, those th points that I dislike about the rest of the watch, for me, it's great. It's a great everyday watch. It has a real vintage feel to it. A uh, vintage watch with modern materials, which you can wear every day. You don't have to worry about uh, it being damaged. Uh, you can take it into the sea, in the pool. It's 50 meter water resistant with a screw down crown. Yeah, I know some people will say that's not enough to go swimming in, but I've taken watches with 50 meter water resistance, not had any problems with it. Majority of times I would take my watch off anyway before I go into any water, but if you had to, I wouldn't feel nervous about taking this uh, in, in any water. Yeah, I think this is a great watch. Absolutely recommend it to anybody who wants to, who's looking at buying it, I would say definitely go and buy it.